I have my block and I'm, I'm going to put some sashing on the sides. Of all, of all the videos that I've watched, uh, I like the one where they, they use like a shadow box type of sashing to start with. The sashing is just going to be the border. So we're going to do every individual square first and then we attach them all together to start making the actual quilt. So this is eventually what it's going to look like. We're going to have a piece there. You know, this is just the black t-shirt material that I had and I cut them up into the, the, the length that I wanted and I put the, the interfacing on the back. It, it was incredibly tedious. The idea is we have the background here and then we're going to put a color on the other the other side. Okay, these aren't the right size, these aren't the right length, but and then and then just connect all the blocks. And the problem is I don't actually have any fabric, so I was gonna repurpose all the what's all the remnants of the t-shirts that I have left. But they're all different colors and no one t-shirt is is gonna produce enough fabric to have one uniform color. So um, I've gone ahead and ordered some some fabric from Joanne Fabrics, but and it's going to be just one color. I think it's going to look really nice, but I have to do it online and then have to wait for them to, to call me or to notify me when it's ready for the curbside pickup. Why, why, why are we doing curbside pickup? Because of the COVID-19 crisis. Now, I know I'm not supposed to say COVID-19 on YouTube because that means I don't get to monetize, but this is why I'm doing this because I don't, I'm out of work and I'm trying to keep myself entertained and busy. Hopefully it's keeping you entertained. So I'm going to say it right now, COVID-19, COVID-19, COVID-19. I hope I don't owe Google money now. For now, I'm just going to do the black. And so I've got my Haleakala Downhill Survivor shirt here. Uh, so Haleakala is a mountain in, or a volcano in, in Maui. I went to a friend of mine had a, a wedding in Maui many years back. And uh, the wedding party, there was I think six couples all together. It was a small, a small arrangement. We all were driven to the top of Mount Haleakala. We explored the national park up there. We had some. They, we, the mountain, they dropped us off as mountain bikes and gear. And the idea is you just is to bomb it down and back to the to the bike shop. But what I wasn't notified of is that we were going to stop halfway for lunch at a restaurant. And I just bombed it all the way down. And nobody. I, and I waited a while, and there was nobody coming. So I started riding, riding all the way back up. And somebody found me and. Uh, notified me where they were so that was uh, I got to do it twice essentially one and a half times the idea is I'm gonna put this over here we're gonna do a stitching here about a quarter inch that'll be my seam allowance and then we flip it over and then it's gonna it'll, it'll look real nice now in one of the videos that I saw she actually likes to use glue I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of Elmer's glue right on the border here just a little bit where I can line this up and now when this is done, I won't have to worry about this, this fabric moving around so much while I'm, while I'm sewing. That way I don't have to worry about, about maybe injuring my fingers. The money makers. See? Now look. We got this thing. It's in place. We let it dry a little more. And then now the next step would be to put the stitching in there. 